Hi guys, I'm Exactas and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Um, thank you as always for all the amazing comments that you left, uh, albeit some of them might be slightly frustrated. Um, I do always appreciate um, all of the comments and I do read through them. I might not respond to all of them um, and I might not even mention all of them in the episodes, but I do actually read all of them. And two of the comments that I absolutely want to address in this episode is the apps the amazing idea that came in from a ton of you to build an additional agro farm over here that is going to be really helpful ultimately um so that we don't have to um micromanage the the things um the, the vehicles as much as we have been doing so absolutely that's something that we're going to do straight away i'm going to start the, the construction for that the other thing that i well i haven't actually done it before so i don't necessarily know if you can assign the same fields to um to, to multiple um, to multiple agro farms, so we'll we'll find out anyway. The other thing is construction, the pace of construction, all these kind of things. And you're suggesting we need tons more vehicles and all these kind of things. Construction over here tends to go pretty quickly, and it's because of the distance that's being travelled. Um, but all, all the way down here, um, construction is a bit of a problem. So two things that I think we need to do. I think I need to expand my construction facilities in this area. So we only have very limited construction vehicles over here. We, are, we have money, we can buy tons more vehicles to make it happen quicker. Um, but we're also thinking about adding construction yards and offices over down here. We will ultimately need a lot of construction to happen, but we don't necessarily have the workers available over here. So ultimately they will still be traveling further afield to get workers or we'll just do separate worker facilities um, anyway. I think that's that's kind of what we'll what we'll do because the construction um, maybe the equipment needs to come over here so we'll have a local equipment um, construction office and all of the others will be up, up there in Irinsky and so on. Okay but let's jump into it um, so it's on slow speed at the moment so let's uh, keep it um, like that for a little while while we quickly uh, flesh out our construction industry over here. I'm also going to start building with uh, with asphalt roads just from the start now um, so that we don't have all of these upgrade things that we need to deal with. There's been a lot of upgrade works that's uh, that's taken time and, and effort to do. Um, so this is just a distribution office. So let's get um, the large modded construction offices and quickly see about grabbing um, a couple of them in here. What did I know? What is this one? This is a... Oh, this is a worker... Mm, this is another construction office. Anyway, we'll get a big one. And we'll uh, we'll try and do a better job here. We'll line it up like that. I don't want it to be too close together. Just line it up like that. We'll tie it in over here. And that will be a decent enough starting point over there. So hopefully they'll get that built. I'm tempted to do more than that. But I think for the time being, maybe just the one. Mm, actually, let's do two of them and let's just get really crazy. Let's just get really committed. Now, the question is, do we do another one like this? So that's a, it's a bit of a... You now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel that piece of construction. I don't want that. We'll do a new road in here. Something like uh, that. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's commission those. We'll get these two construction offices um, built over here. They all have their connection onto that main road over there. So hopefully that gets built pretty quickly. Um, construction over here generally works really quick. Goes really quickly. I mean, look at all of these roads and all of these buildings. They just pop up very quickly after we've uh, commissioned them. Now. Um, Let's get that additional agro farm in place. I also want us to finish off some of these things. So let's now go ahead and speed it up so we can hopefully get things done. Uh, did we run out of food over here? And there was a comment. We still have a little bit of food over here, but there was a comment suggesting, and I'm sorry about all the scrolling across the screen, that we probably have food in all of our facilities. Uh, it's not quite the fact, uh, the, uh, it's not quite the case over here. Um, was there anything else here that could store that we were storing food? I don't think so. But there are food at, at all of our shops. So we still have food in the system, but, uh, but we don't have a lot of food storage in av uh, available. Any food over here? 
They're also running out of food a fair bit. Um, over here, there's still a little bit of food. So the system still has food in it. Um, and I would imagine, yeah, they, so, so there's still a little bit of food in the system. But yeah, we pretty much used the entire, um, to get through the winter, we used all of this. Hopefully trucks are coming in. Yes, trucks are coming in to pick up straight away. That's quite useful. So we should see more crops being delivered over here and our food situation should, should start. Um, uh, there's still a lot of food in the warehouse of the specific um, facility. So vehicles picking up food should still be able to pick up food here. The food factory still has food available. Let's see what these, uh, these vehicles are picking up over here. They're picking up food. And are they drawing food from the factory? Or not? Uh, this is the one thing that I find a little weird. The fact that there's food in the warehouse of the food factory. Just want to see if, because there's nothing in here now. Is it, is it going to pull straight through? It doesn't. It doesn't pull straight through and through. And these guys are leaving empty, I think. It didn't load, it didn't load anything. So there's a little bit of a glitch here, which I don't necessarily like, is the fact that none of this food is actually making its way um, through. And I don't like it. I don't like it, it should be it should be moving through there naturally. So that's, uh, that's a little awkward, to say the least. And maybe it, if we pulled it straight from over there. Anyway, we should see crops arriving very soon. Okay, let's get ourselves to the agro farm. Uh, it's not in here, it's over here. The food industry will grab the agro farm and I'm, I'm thinking back there or alternatively yeah alternatively somewhere like this I think that's probably a little bit better for us to use this area right here uh, it is pretty close by to all of that though oh we need it to be powered <laughs> we need it to be powered so let's be very mindful that we need it to be powered so I am gonna Oh, we can't get it? Oh, man. Well, in that case, we're, all, we're not going to place it down here. We're going to place it up here. I'm going to try and squeeze it in as best we can. There we go. So start building on that. Oh, I would need to actually assign some people to this. So let's assign MV equipment, MV construction workers, and asphalt and gravel. And we'll get them underway. Actually, the equipment doesn't actually work there, but it's okay. If they don't need it, they still assign to it at least. Okay, so that'll that'll get underway. Uh, this is starting to be built, so it's we're okay with that. I'm happy for that to continue. Um, is this road section under construction yet? No, it's not. So let's assign. Oh, it's going to be tedious to build it in little sections. I do hate that. I do hate that. So let's get those same crews out here. Um, oh, actually, let's get some other crews out here. Like so. Should be okay. Uh, slowly getting all of that done. I also wanted to, yes, you guys are on top of me for not building quick enough or not graveling or, or asphalting our roads quick enough. Let's keep an eye on what's going on here. We're very close with finishing off some sections of um, of the rail here and the rail over here is moving along and we've got the vehicles doing their thing um, you uh, there's also been some comments about adding more vehicles I can't and um, this thing is at its max so we can't add more vehicles and I'm not uh, and I'm not thinking that will be more effective if we have more uh, construction vehicles because there's just so many sections of rail that they can work on um, so that's that's not not something that we're gonna do what's going on over here we are generate we are getting more oil than we're actually producing fuel with so we do have a little bit of a surplus of oil here but I I'm very worried that we run out of fuel and what we could do is we could just get more workers out here or try and get more workers out there um, as best we can I wanted to have a quick look at our pollution situation just over here quickly um, it seems pretty reasonable so it's okay for the time being now let's uh, see about actually upgrading a couple of additional road sections um, if we can Oh man, this is so painful. This really is so painful. So let's try and get um, those sections connected up over there. Um, it's it's going to be very painful to get all of those done. Um, little small sections built one by one. There's also been some comments and suggestions around our gravel. 
and that we probably need uh, an, a, an extra gravel facility. Yeah, maybe that is the case. The travel distances is becoming a problem for us. And so localized construction um, facilities and things like that would be quite useful, uh, but it's not something that we can generally do just this uh, just yet. Oh, look at that. We've got, we managed to finish off our new bridge that's crossing out over here into our, what has been referred to in the comments as a square about, uh, which is cool. I, uh, I mind, I don't mind it. It's uh, it's quite, quite, quite awesome. Now we do need to um, continue our uh, road extensions over here. Not that that's a vitally important one. I'd rather focus our construction efforts on getting more construction vehicles going and getting the rest of this going. There's a lot of um, crops coming in now, so we should now start seeing a lot of food in here. Excellent. I do, I would have hoped we could move this through. If you know how we can move this stuff through there, if that's if the warehouse is empty, would be quite useful. Uh, apart from demolishing this and adding forklifts in there. If there's, a, uh, if there's something else that I'm missing, it'd be useful for us to understand that. Um, is this underway? Yeah, that's underway. Is that underway? Yeah, all of this is underway at the moment. So lots of construction pieces are starting to slowly happen. We've got at least all of the, these roads are in fact um, asphalt, um, so that is a pretty decent travel um, travel time travel time journey along there. But there are lots of other little pieces of roads that we should still um, do asphalt for. Um, the least of which are these two. I want to connect those two up, and then our main roads over here would be pretty pretty well suited. And the construction workers and the asphalt. Oh, not the boards, the asphalt and gravel. Where is it over here? We'll get the equipment in there, not that I'm necessarily sure that that short section will make use of it, but we'll do it nonetheless. Um, over here, similarly, we'll do MVs, teams in here, construction workers, equipment, and asphalt and gravel, bring them in. So let's get those final sections of roads done over there. It's kind of the plan. And then this is slowly underway. That's good. Uh, harvesting is going well. There's two or three that's not being harvested at the moment. That's, that's fine. All of our trucks are busy moving um, crops around, pretty pretty significant uh, crop movements around here at the moment. So that's good. And this construction will will take a long time to build, but hopefully we can get some of this, um, some early winds um, up here um, quickly, quickly, as soon as we can get some of these other more construction workers and things going. We, man we managed to build in, in Irinsky really quickly and effectively. Some of the things we also need to probably think about. Yeah, we're constantly out of coal here. I don't think we need to boost our um, steel production. Our steel production seems to be doing, um, going crazy over here. So we, we, we have enough steel um, for us to go on. But, but one of the things that we will need to consider is, um, is getting more processing for coal up and running soon. So it will be one of the next initiatives that we do. But I would wouldn't mind getting rails going. I, I think rail going rail in this direction is going pretty quickly. Well, as quickly as rail goes. But I am a little surprised about is how long it's taking them to finish off this little section through here. But there there are vehicles and they are going there. Let's just see what is stuck at the moment. So this is, I believe, this section is still under construction. Yeah. So once the last few. Um, yeah, so this is just a little section, I think, here, that they still need to put some um, some some catenaries in, and then the whole thing will work down. I think here it comes. So they're going to finish it off now. Let's quickly have a look at that, and then that section will be done. Then, yeah, we'll struggle to. Then it's just one. This this one vehicle will have to continue to go around that section. One of the things we don't have, oh no, I think we have started building the, the rail yard. Yeah, the rail yard is built. So we can effectively purchase now trains once the rail is up and running. I wouldn't mind us getting that up and running soon. I think we're, yeah, this is the very last bit. It's gonna finish off right now. There we go, finish that, uh, that section. So now we've got a pretty decent through movement um, over here. But there are some sections that we're obviously not getting to. Uh, and we've messed it up. Nice. Well, at least I've been looking around over here. So this, they, these are, uh, yeah, so in terms of our signals, let's just have a look. So these are chain signals. So how this happened, I've got no idea. But ultimately that 
Can we turn... You should be able to... Well, not on this one, though. You can't actually switch over. So if I turn you around, you won't find your way. Oh, man. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Can we... Can we stop it off with something there? I'm going to try and just put a... Uh, a chain signal right there. Hopefully that stops him. Uh, and now this guy, we should be able to... Oh, hang on. Let's just try and get move this guy out of the way. Uh, you know what I'll do? Uh, this is this is silly. I shouldn't even I shouldn't even attempt it. What I should do is I should just grab this unfinished fish section of rail. We'll cancel that so this guy disappears, um, and then we'll continue construction again. Um, that's the that's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Now everything is moving along. Oh, this guy was yeah stuck there. It's interesting. What we need to do is we need to uh, get another uh, section through here. I think what what's going on here, and I might pay for a little section through here. Uh, I need to think about. Wow, these guys are. What are these guys doing? <laughs> what is happening? Start driving, people. Traffic, huh? Traffic, lots of traffic. This is why I like the idea of the Cosmonaut Challenge because we're gonna deal with lots of traffic issues. And um, that's gonna gonna be problematic for us in certain instances. So one of the things that I'm thinking is we can probably get another switch through here so that these guys can um, can can stay on the right side of their road. But um, we're so so close to being finished over here. I think we're probably okay. It's just yeah. I think we're probably okay there. Oh, what we could do, yeah, what we could do is we could start this piece of construction in this in this spot here. Uh, we can we can fill up this intersection. That's basically what we could do in the meantime. So we could um, we could fill up our. Ooh, can we? Uh, this is this is kind of what I what I had in mind. Something like that. Uh, let's uh, wait on that. Let's try and get the straight section there. There we go. I want to try and keep it as straight as possible. Decent, uh, decent connections through here. So with that in mind, and we'll do a similar one on this side. We can commence construction on those, and then we'll have to see about getting a switch in place or something, of, something, something of that nature. Uh, okay, so let's uh, commission those and see. We should be able to get vehicles to come around from this side. But what we would need to do, however, is make sure that we can switch over to the other side. So we'll have to keep an eye on this construction. Have we finished off a section? So one of the things that I'm thinking we should look at is providing a little section through here. Just like so, so they can get to the other side there. And this sec little section I'm just going to pay for just so that we've got our vehicles, uh, have the ability for our vehicles to get to both of these sides. Okay, and we'll have to check out that that actually works. We are starting to see it going into autumn. Uh, this construction, are we underway here? Do we have vehicles assigned and the likes? Yeah, everything is assigned. Uh, not here though. Oh, there's that little section that still needs to be finished off. Is that underway though? We are waiting on a few more workers over here. One of the things that I think we should do is probably get a ton more of these micro buses over here. So I'm going to buy, how many do I need to fill this thing up? Let's get at least another four, so we'll have one open slot there. Micro buses. We've got some vehicles assigned over here. What's burning? Morgan Valley Oil Rig 3, that should be okay, no problems. Let's uh, buy a couple of micro buses. Buses, the micro variety, I like these guys. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna move over here and move them in. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll get more more buses to move uh, move workers around. And I think the micro buses are exactly the right ones to use. 
Okay, construction's underway here. Construction should be getting underway over here also. Nice, that's good. Did we manage to finish off some stuff down here? Uh, not really. Things are fairly slow. <laughs> fairly slow over here. Uh, there is still uh, harvesting going on. Uh, these last fields should be harvested now soon. That one started. These two should start soon. Excellent. We should have a lot of crops. Wow. Oh yeah, but there's still a fair bit that's probably needs to, to be collected on here. Yeah, tons and tons of crops still needs to be collected over there. Uh, we can continue our road section. Uh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's start building that section. More asphalt roads uh, quicker is the idea here. I don't see construction workers and... MV equipment uh, will be just fine, I believe. But yeah, we need more equipment. And to be honest, we need to, to build equipment in this area. Build up some construction equipment over here. Maybe that is what we should also be doing. Get another construction office um, built up over here. Oh, we would work the modded one yet again. We'll get the big one. So if we like squeeze it into the corner, We'll have a lot of equipment just kind of hanging around. Is that... Um, well, we could use this area that doesn't necessarily have power. So let's do that. It's, it's pretty close to where the action is. Alternatively, we can try and squeeze it in here. I'm just worried that this area we'll, we want to use for other stuff a little bit later. We can also try and squeeze it in here. Uh, but this is actually the area where we're going to have a lot of logging as well. Maybe in here. Let's just let's just put it in here and get it get it done with. Uh, if there was other loading facilities that we wanted to build, it would be it would be over here. If we wanted to start moving um, cattle in here, uh, I think ultimately over here is going to be just fine. Okay, there we go. That's the one. Okay, good stuff. So let's uh, connect that up. These, I don't mind the connections just to have a bit of gravel on it. Uh, but let's... Uh, I think it really matters, to be honest. If we use gravel, it's, finished, it's done quicker. There we go. Let's assign that. We'll get it built as quickly as we can. Actually, let's get Irinsky construction workers and actually that's going to be just it. We just need that. Well, let's get them in there. That's all we need. They'll bring the gravel. They have a few dump trucks over there. Some of these things are extremely tedious, tedious and slow to get it done. We are still moving all of the crops, right? 48 tons. Okay, yeah. Lots of crops still move, being moved in. I don't think we've run out of food, right? We don't have escapes or anything. Ooh, we had a few escapes. So we may have run out of food in a few locations. Let's quickly have a look at what's going on with the food situation. Uh, seems like we did, in fact, have a little dip in the food. We, ha we are out of food here. We are currently out of food. Why is that? We're out of food here too. So where is our food? What is going on? We have food here. Building is with. Oh my goodness, I forgot. We're out of power, isn't it? Oh, this is. This is the one thing that if. I, I just wish. I just wish. <laughs> the, 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 the line spacing thing would get in. I have no idea why it's so difficult. I mean. Okay. Wow, look at this. Because of that. Okay, okay, hang on guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with that. Just get just 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 get this done. I that is that's insane. Look at this. This is where everybody is stuck. Look, look at that. Wow. 
Wow, my goodness. We'll get our line spacing back up and running. Get our power up and running. I'm um, just going to import power. My goodness, import it. My goodness. That was disastrous. And see, this is the thing with, uh, with all of this. This is the thing. We can't afford to have issues with that. I would love us to upgrade this, but to be honest, I'm not sure it's gonna, it's, we're gonna be able to do it effectively at this point in time. I think we'll need to just deal with it as is, and we'll just continue the new builds. People are gonna arrive here for work. No, not yet. No workers whatsoever is arriving. These buses are completely empty, so we'll need another round for them to go back and pick up people. Okay. That's uh, and again we've got some problems here. I need to fix that because this is uh, this is not on. You should be able to go now, right? Why are you not able to? Hang on. Where are you trying to go? Oh, you've got a red signal over here, so we've got some stuff. Why? I think there are... Oh, I know, I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. Hang on. We need to, uh, we need to... Put some stuff in here. Okay. I don't know why. Anyway. This is... Yeah, anyway, we, we just need to kind of bear with that for a little bit um, until we can get proper switches and stuff in here. Have we run around here? Is this is this under construction? This is not assigned at the moment. So let's, uh, let's quickly get that assigned. Yeah, there's a little bit of micromanagement going on here now. Can we assign a construction project, please? I would like you to please come and work on that section. So why is this seemingly not, oh no, no, it's just that. And this one? I don't know why that one needs, please, no. Yep, yeah, they come. Okay, so we need, you know what we need? We need to um, switch these things out a little bit. Okay, let's uh, quickly, yeah, let's, let's make, let's fix, fix this. Because this is, um, this is going to be tremendously problematic if we continue along this journey. Okay, what we need to do here is we, in fact, need to um, change these these um, signals here. So they need to be one direction only, and actually you don't need to be chained, you can do that. And then we have a switch over here that allows them to now switch over from the one side to the other side, but really, this is no longer necessary. Oh, you actually, you know what? They do need to be able to go in both directions because how can they come back? <laughs> Unless what we do is we switch it over here. So I'll do temporary switches over here so that we don't uh, impede the, those sections. It's a little problematic for us to necessarily do it over here. And I'm going to... I know it's not the right thing to do in terms of the challenge, but we need to um, we need to progress through this a little quicker. Um, and we'll do that one over there and this one over. Ooh. Why did that happen? Now we've got a section that's a little weird here. Um, okay, so the idea here is that we, in fact. Um, I'm quite happy to, comfortable to remove this and remove that and then from there they can just run into the directions that they, that they deem necessary. Okay, so I believe this should now work and everybody should be able to get where they want to go. And what we will, however, do is I think we'll just um, we'll remove this so they won't be able to do multiple directions over here. Let's um, oh, 
But what I can, however, do is I can add some more, more stuff here. So let's do that. Okay, now now we'll get a little bit more efficient here, I think. Uh, it's fixing it? Yeah, for some reason. Now it'll be fixed. Yeah, excellent. So that should work work again a little bit better. Perfect. I think that um, that deals with that issue. Are these things done? Wow, why is it taking so long? I'm kind of wondering whether I need to put in a little bit of a time lapse here for us to finish off a few things. That's underway. That's good. You are waiting to go where exactly? Okay, I just want to have a quick look at our signal situation here. So you can leave to go somewhere. Oh, but these two are, for some reason, interconnected. Oh, do I need to close it off somewhere, potentially? Well, let's uh, let's try and do some, do some signals right over here somewhere just so that we can see if we can't allow these vehicles to to travel through a little bit better yeah presumably that will all work a little bit better now okay okay good can this stuff be done we're gonna run into winter shortly Yeah. Oh, I probably did the sign. Oh, did the sign people here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, stuff is happening. I just uh, was zoomed out a little bit too far. Couldn't actually spot it. I risk in industry and construction workers should be fine. They should be able to deal with that. All of these things. We're just waiting on what exactly? Steel. We're missing steel. Um, yeah. So we need, uh, I think, a ton more trucks to be delivering steel and stuff. And I think that's what one of those facilities will be. Will be an Irinsky steel and. Uh, panels and and things like that facility this one over here will become um, just equipment I think that's gonna be fine a lot of um, kind of cranes and and excavators and, and things like that this guy is waiting his turn uh, what oh yeah yeah that's fine <laughs> like what's going on Yeah, we just need a few more signals on here, actually. So let's uh, actually start placing our signals the way we, we would. Um, that's about a train length right over there. Like so. That's probably about the right. We'll probably do one more in the middle over here. No, like so. And then this needs to be fixed at some point. Let's see how that works. It's okay. Uh, these areas probably could do with some some signals also. So let's do a, about a signal right over here. A signal. Uh, ooh, I'm not actually doing that just yet. So it needs to be something like this for now until we uh, until we do the, get better. Okay, get the the directions to work better. Now, can we? I'm, I'm assuming we should be able to assign some of these construction pieces now we'll start seeing um, some construction sections so let's we can definitely start work on on a piece over here let's get cracking on that one it should be able to it should be you uh, they should be able to get there quite easily and um, this is why I did this little section through there so that the guys can come around this way um, to construct this section because if it's only up and down there they can't actually get there Okay, good stuff, that is going. Uh, okay, perfect, this is done. Okay, now what I need this one to be, this one will become the Irinsky um, Bricks Prefabs Boards and Steel. Okay, so this is basically gonna be so I'll, I'll get I'll get them assigned. 
But what this is basically going to be, it's going to be a lot of um, open hole trucks basically. So if we go steel needs to be collected over here please. And then boards. Bricks needs to be collected over here. Ooh, are we running out of bricks? And prefab panels needs to be collected over here please. And we'll just check what we're doing with our, our exports. The one thing that's very far away is boards. But we rarely use boards. So or we use little, little, very little bits of boards. Okay, let's do open holes, quick and effective open hole vehicles. Uh, I want like 90 kilometers an hour. I believe we've got, ooh, we've got the KMZs over here, 95 kilometers an hour at 16 tons. Yeah, that's the those are the ones. Those are the ones. Still have some other vehicles there, which we should probably just sell them to be honest. Let's just sell off some of these. We can still make a fair bit of money off of that. Uh, not that, sell them. There we go, and that tractor as well. Sell it, sell it. Now, we'll do the rest of that, so we'll do them eight at a time, basically. Now, let's bring it in. Move these guys over here. Okay, guys, and I've uh, I've come back, and let's quickly have a look. I've ended up spending ages um, to quickly um, sort out all of our new construction offices. So this one now is uh, the uh, con uh, in RNC construction workers. I've removed all the dumpers from here. It's only microbuses taking people to construction sites now, and as you can see, it's empty, so it's working really hard. This one is the bricks prefab and boards, as you as we started just before I um, cut out. Um, it's got all the latest um, open holes over here. This one is asphalt, gravel and concrete. Uh, I've got a little bit of spare capacity over there, but there's basically the latest dumpers in there and the latest mixers. So hopefully we should be able to really go well with that. What I've done is with the old uh, Irinsky Industrial, um, I've made this basically the equipment one. So I've brought in some of the best tower cranes. Um, the best new open hole stuff to carry things around. I did leave some of the old vehicles in there. Um, we've got some excavators, we've got some um, some of these guys, the uh, the bulldozers, we've got pavers, we've got the rollers, and I've kept uh, the latest covered holes in here so that this can also be where the, um, where the uh, electronics and the uh, mechanical components um, get moved because we don't move a lot of that. What I've done is I've gone to MV um, and I've, I did a bit of a rehash of what was going on over here. I did leave the fairly recent dumpers in there. I um, upgraded all the uh, the mixers and I've added a few of the latest dumpers in there. This one only had the two vehicles in there so I've, uh, I've upgraded all of those to the latest covered holes. This is basically mechanical components and electric components and then over here I've upgraded some of our open holes, but not all of them, and I can probably add a few more. We'll see how we go, but now I think there's a lot of capacity um, in terms of our vehicles and moving our vehicles and, and things like that and get, getting construction underway. I didn't upgrade any of these, so we'll see how that goes. What I did do is we, if we move over here to Sobkos, um, I did add, the, this one was finished, and I added all of the equipment in there. So at the moment, this is only equipment. It's got the open holes, the best. Uh, best open all the ex excavators and the bulldozers, the pavers and the rollers and the tower cranes are in here as well. So really now, if we, and I've, I've had them all to auto assign to all construction projects within 3000 meters. So really hopefully that should do the trick um, in terms of getting things done a little quicker. So of course equipment is now available to come and work over here. Um, what I do however need to do is now bring in the Irinsky bricks, asphalt and gravel pieces to come and help out. Um, I believe there's still steel required over here and boards and things like that. So hopefully those vehicles will get underway soon. Um, I'll assign these guys also. Arinsky, those guys. Okay, don't say those guys. I'll uh, just do that. Um, and we and I've started to assign some more construction projects over here. So Arinsky asphalt and gravel to asphalt this road and construction workers and MV equipment and soft cost equipment. So really we should have um, everything we need to quickly do all of these sections. I don't see construction workers is doing this by themselves. So let's quickly make sure to get um, soft cost equipment involved over here as well as Irinsky asphalt and gravel and the likes um, so that we can get those pieces assigned. I think it's a little bit more of a manual distribution in terms of how we're going to assign 
the, the various construction pieces, but now we should have so much people to deal with all of that. As you can see, it is now winter. Our roads are fairly well kept clean of snow, so that's very good. I've added this extra one here, um, and we can see which fields are these. These are these fields uh, um, right next to us, right? So if we go, it really should pick up all of these fields. So let's just make sure that we assign. Okay, so they picked up those. Let's assign these. Those, 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 this one, this one, and this one. So all of these fields are now assigned. It seems to be assigned to both of them. What we will do is we will move these tractors. Uh, let's uh, grab this one so we can open the tractors all at the same time. Uh, okay, now what we'll do, uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to grab all of these tractors and move them next door. So that I probably should have done that in between as well. But anyway, that it's now done. This thing is now, I don't think the construction finished until very recently. So now everything, we should be able to get a little bit more of the vehicles that we need over here. Don't mind if we have a few older tractors. It's kind of pretty decent. Okay, there we go. Let's see. I think we still have another tractor or two in here, right? Just want to make sure we move all of our tractors out to this facility and we'll get a couple of extra combiners um, moving okay so we need three more there and i think there's three on the way here we'll see about getting an extra tractor if we need one uh, three more com uh, harvesters three more harvesters do we have anything here no i think i sold all of it so if we go harvesters we'll get these are the better ones, one, two, three of them. I'll just let them drive there. It's gonna not be a big deal. We don't need them there um, ASAP. Uh, move there. Move here and what am I missing? Probably missed something, huh? Oh, just taking time to get out of there. That should be all of them. What do we need over here? One more tractor. Let's just see how bad those other tractors are. Tractors. Sewing. Uh, the blue ones are the older ones, eh? Oh, they're really not that... They're really not that different. But what I'll do is I'll buy one more of these. I thought the bluer ones were the newer ones, but anyway. That's fine, we'll get those in there. And that should be fine. So now it's got 12 equipment pieces in each one of them. We've got the 12 fields, so really that should be really effective. Um, we've got a number of, uh, we've got full on uh, covered hulls in here. A variety of them, we might upgrade them a little bit later, but I think we're okay. Um, do we have all the stuff we have? Yeah, absolutely. So we're doing a decent job with having crops in place. There's a fair bit of food and alcohol available. We can probably trim back on the alcohol um, sales a little bit. Oh, now we can see our new uh, vehicles are uh, in fact working over here. What's happening over here? You need some dumpers, right, from our Arinsky? Should be here. I don't know why you're waiting. Anyway, there should be vehicles available to actually move things around. Excellent. We're starting to see our big cranes arrive over here and we've got everything that we need. So hopefully construction has got a major boost and will now be a lot more effective. That is the plan at least. That is the plan. Okay, so guys, I think that is kind of where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, we can, we can, okay, maybe before we do that, let's get um, construction of a few other bits and pieces underway. And just make sure that we've got all of the vehicles and things assigned that needs to be assigned. So this is waiting for mechanisms. Uh, mechanisms from, and all workers, mechanisms should be, I should be able to drop off mechanisms over here. Mechanisms should be on the way, including workers. And we're doing that last section here. Workers are being dropped off, but we are waiting on, on what? Asphalt. Yeah, we're waiting on asphalt to arrive. So asphalt should, should get here. It's, a, it's quite a distance to travel. So that's, that's probably the biggest issue. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be upgraded. I can quickly go around and upgrade some of these roads. Not that they are long-term roads for long-term use. There's a lot of stuff that's not being, um, not a lot of roads that's not been plowed over here. Let's get that underway. 
Uh, let's just make sure to get the Irinsky guys, well, get Soft Cross equipment involved. Um, Irinsky construction workers is picking up. Irinsky asphalt and gravel will also pick up there. There we go. Uh, we, do we need, um, we need probably need workers, right? Workers are also being picked up. That's okay. Good stuff. Um, that'll that'll work. Why don't we have? Let's quickly have a look at our technical offices over here. We need probably more vehicles, uh, but this area is in fact under. They should all of this all of these roads should be plowed. So I'll just have to buy a few more of these vehicles. So let's buy a couple more and just fill them up. It's been a bit of a efficiency drive in this episode, thanks to all of your comments. So uh, we'll do that. So if we go with snow plows, do we have anything that's now really? quick and effective 32 kilometer an hour speeds 21 19 39 that's a good one oh that's is, these are good the kmz's okay buy three of the kmz's okay yeah so i'm actually not keeping pace with the vehicles as you probably have pointed out in the comments um, and that's something that's going to be important for us to do is to keep pace with um, upgraded vehicles that will continue to make things more and more effective. We'll need to do a round of this every now and again. And look, I've spent so much money on, uh, on vehicles, but um, I think that's a very good use for our money considering we can't build our own vehicles yet. But it'll be an interesting one to try and keep pace with what is going on with the vehicles. Okay, this construction is, is underway actually. Here comes the steel. Nice, here comes the steel. We should be able to get some of this sorted out. Actually, that's the last stuff. A lot of workers now being dropped off over here. Wow, we've got so many workers on site. This is gonna finish off in just a jiffy. We're gonna finish this one very soon. Um, so lots of stuff actually arriving. As it arrives, things happen um, really quickly. Um, workers are arriving, so construction is underway over there. The new tower cranes, I'm hoping they do a big difference. Is there a big difference between using a tower crane and a road crane? I just like the road cranes because they uh, actually transport themselves but it seems like these are pretty good it's, we're still waiting on asphalt over here and we should have a lot of vehicles that can move asphalt around right there's still a lot of vehicles available dumpers to move asphalt around the one that is that is worrying me a little bit is uh this, is this um this construction workers one over here but we are moving more construction workers to sites than we should actually be getting there uh just have a quick look at what our um our heating is light, and then I think that's going to be the end of the episode. Our heating is is fine. This one dro ooh, dropping a little, dropping a little. Why why is that dropping? Is it just I don't know why. Out of power. We just have a quick look. Power has been been a, a key problem in the past. No, power is definitely not the problem because I think we're also importing still. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. No, we've uh, managed to source. Get that back up to a decent number. Are we losing people? We have slightly more deaths and births at the moment in the middle of winter, in the middle of January. But I think that's uh, that's decent. What is our total population? 11,400. Yeah, so we're growing ultimately after that uh, massive death wave of 1975. We are back on course and now we should be uh, constructing things at a much more rapid pace. Things are actually happening fairly quickly over here. Rolling of stuff over there. Um, I think the rolling needs to happen over here. Oh, we still need... No, no, I think it's this, the, the roller vehicles um, on their way over here. What is... Uh, is soft cross equipment? Oh, because MV equipment might be sending something. That's why that... So we, we need to maybe not double up with the equipment um, pieces. I think that's the important thing. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been fun. I will see you in the next one. Uh, oh, something to bear in mind. I am moving to Western Australia, and so I'm going into quarantine in the next two weeks. Um, so I'm not too sure how my situation with videos and, and uploads are going to be. So please bear with me if things aren't as, um, as quick as they should be. But I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.